Hey, what's up? It's a new day, it's a new life. It's the last Uchiha here. And uh, so this one's a little different. I'm going to do this kind of, I guess, vlog style, whatever they call it. And uh, I'm just getting up and around today. I've been working on this video here, and it's rendering again. I rendered it at night. It fucked up. Got to render it again. And uh, yeah, I got to upload it to YouTube. It's the workout I did yesterday. It's the first in a new series called uh, 25 Days of Pain. And uh, I'm making these videos for all those who suffer and all those who are alone right now you know what I'm saying so um anyways vlog style I gotta feed these cats my cats are running all what up Dio? Enjoy your food buddy let's go see the thing is with cats right when you feed them they'll always like walk right under your feet as you're walking type thing you always gotta be careful for that that's what they meow meow There you go, meows. Meow! Meow! You want this style jeans? Hey. Oh. Get it, meow. You can do it. Grab it and bring it back to me. Come on, baby boo. Yeah. Oh, you're a good baby. Come on. Come on. You want to do it again? It's your workout. Come on. Let's go, baby. Wait. Ha! Ah, good job. You're a good little puppy. The best puppy cat. Come on, bring it back. Bring it back, puppy cat. Come on, grab it. You can do it. I believe in you. No, don't give up. It doesn't matter what's going on over there. Tyler, focus on the task at hand. Tyogenes, get it and bring it back. Yeah, get it and bring it back. That's a bracelet. Put it in your mouth and bring it over here. Baby boy, no, please. Yes, you're the best puppy in the world. You can do this. Oh my goodness. You're such a good puppy. Okay, little baby puppy. Let's see a third time. Grab it. Oh, you're awesome. So what up, this thing on? So yeah, I live in a working class neighborhood. Uh, in the east of my city, there's a dog shitting and pissing all over somewhere with no owner or leash. Um, you know, we got homes and stuff like that all around. There were ones for sale, ones people still living in. I got a park on one side and a school on the other side. I really, really like that though. The city wanted to close down that school like they're doing with a lot of older schools. In some of these neighborhoods, it's kind of tough. And, uh, so yeah, I just figured, you know, walk you down to the park here, show you a little court that sometimes I come shoot at, and uh, yeah, all right, so bear with me. So here we are, this park runs along the river. It's actually a series of different parks along this uh, trail and bike path that runs along the river here and uh, this is just close to where I live and uh, we actually have a bathroom at this one uh, unlike some of the other places where I grew up and where I used to play like Bully White Oaks um, even now where you see a lot of those videos known at Meredith Park there but there's no bathrooms in those parts of the city because uh, for whatever reason 
city council doesn't allocate resources to do that and they don't feel like those communities deserve the same treatment as other communities and this one actually wasn't here for like 12 years it just happened uh like a year or two ago and it wasn't on the initiative of the city it was like some i don't know non-profit sector thing that ended up happening but um here we are we're on the court here it's an uneven court you know i think it's like nine feet you know it's slanted i don't know if you can see that so but this is all right here so i come shooting around uh, the edges of the court out of bounds threes aren't exactly ideal they're kind of going you know sloped outward and stuff and once you pass i don't know it slopes there and slopes there but dead on it's not so bad so you can shoot from half you can shoot all around and uh it's nice over here i really like it that's an old power plant that leaks all types of toxic crap right into the river that's down there running under the highway over there and so yeah we out here and uh i don't know man i strongly feel like uh our city should put more money towards you know uh recreational sort of stuff infrastructure because you know when they invest in that first of all it makes a whole bunch more money compared to things like policing secondly things like policing whenever they arrest somebody costs them more money anyways to jail them and put them in a court and do all that kind of stuff so uh thirdly i just think this is another you know source of existential opportunities for people is to come out here and like you know work their hardest and do something in life and uh we need these spaces man sometimes to get over our pain and to like you know come together and work hard and uh you know form new relationships new networks new villages whatever you want to say man try my best not to step in any dog doo-doo but that's not always possible in these parks you know lots of uh lots of soccer and baseball is played all along this park so we're coming over to the river here yeah and uh, i just figured i'd give you some shots of the river. the van but down by the river oh man my ass we're walking down here with video camera steep cliff of rocks that I'm attempting to go down <clears throat> shouldn't be that bad okay it got bad See now I was just about to say hopefully I don't see spiders and I bet you now I'm going to see spiders because I said that or something. Not that I'm afraid of spiders but I just don't want to. Okay. Oh. Well that's one way to wake your legs up without stretching I guess after working out far too long yesterday. So we're down by the river here and uh this river used to be called, I guess, the Antler River by the indigenous people. And the area of where London is and where the river kind of parts ways, because there's several different branches to this river. Uh, they used to call it the Deskenzibi in Canada. Nowadays, settler colonial people, they call it the Thames River. After England and all that kind of stuff, you know, if you notice you go places, they have lots of English, British, royal names. Um, different things like that Dundas Queen King York Wellington all that shit it reflects the colonial power the monarchy their structure 
yeah, but we're down here at the river. I don't come here often enough. It's really nice. Uh, yeah, I used to read here, hang out here. And uh, actually, if we're going to talk about pain, maybe I'll just tell you right quick. So my uh, ex, my partner and best friend, uh, she had to leave the country and she had an incident uh, with the state and she had actually come to this river and it happened on this river and uh, yeah I wasn't there but I don't think I've been to the river since before that happened actually and that was last summer last June Yeah, she's okay, and we talk still. She's still one of my best friends, though we're not together. Worlds apart. Now I'm in the room. So we yeah. have. Oh, I gotta get up this thing. Kind of dubious. Let's do it. Camera, no camera. Camera. We didn't die. <sighs> Back to the crib we go. So, uh, what up? We're in the garage here. The car hold that doesn't have a car in it. Um, so yeah, if people ever wonder like, whoop, why maybe uh, my house or my garage is a mess, or I'm a mess, it's because my life's a mess. Yeah, I'm not making a peace sign if you can see that, but it's it's true, and um, so yeah, we're just trying to get everything together, and uh, you know, trying to find people out there that want to work together on uh, you know shared goals, shared projects, cool shit, and uh, hopefully we all get there together. So right now I'm gonna do a little bit of weight. Fire! Oh man! Oh yeah! Got the sweat going. The sweat, not just a sweat. I got the sweat going. You know? Whew. All right, man. Breakfast is gonna taste extra good today. So if you're doing this at home, uh, I should stipulate, it's probably best if you're doing max weight with a spotter. Uh, I do this shit all the time, so I know how to, like, if I caught, slide it down off of my body, and it won't hurt that much. Uh, and I've done it several times. But, uh, yeah, try to get a spotter if you can. <sighs> Alright, man. Breakfast time. And so we're out here making breakfast, and uh, this is like, you know, a pot, or a pan of spinach, sorry. I shouldn't call it pot, and I shouldn't say this is a pot. This is a pan. This is a pan of frying spinach with salt, pepper, and butter in it. And so spinach is a hell of a drug, because I feel like this is an entire package worth, minus maybe two leaves, and it's going to boil down, bake down, cook down, fry down, simmer down, to like absolutely nothing, just watch. How you doing, baby boy? You're, oh, you're already on your lunch time, eh? Hey, you want to? You want me to open this? You want to open it? Okay.
So that's what it cooked down to. You know what I mean? Today on the plate, or on the, no. Bruh. Today on the menu, Chef Uchi has brought us, um, what are these delicious things? They are, um, frozen pizza, frozen mini pizzas with, uh, some extra Swiss cheese on top and then a can of tuna split between them and then some fried spinach on top and if I'm still hungry I'm gonna eat two bananas so I just wanted to show you the mysterious Macy she's always hiding Macy you here? look Macy I've got food I've got food Macy come on meow meow oh you want some love? Wow. <clears throat> Back at it again. Generally when I come out here, I have my laptop, little speaker, and I play music and stuff like that off my playlist. And uh, I can't do that right now because my video is uploading to YouTube and going through uh, processing and all that stuff. So hopefully it goes live by the time I go back in and I can watch it one time while I'm eating dinner to make sure it plays through okay and everything. And then put that one down. And after dinner tonight I hope to uh, finish filming and editing uh, this vlog for tomorrow. And uh, I'm actually just going to show you my editing software and stuff like that too so you kind of get an idea. But we're out here and I'm going to lift some weights. I'm going to start with some uh, low weights. Like I just got 45 on there. And I'm just going to put 25 on the bar. And then uh, build my way up to my max. So if you noticed before when I started this morning, I started at my max on both. And worked my way down. And um, <clears throat> like I showed you parts of that as I was working out. I'm going to do the same thing here except the reverse of that. I'm going to start light and work my way up. And uh, just something to uh, make it feel like it's kind of a different workout and I'm not doing the same thing all the time, all the time. So yeah, let's get it. So yeah, sometimes I wear some gloves so that my hands don't get ripped open and stuff because I have calluses on my hands from basketball and medicine ball and weights all the time and stuff. But, um, so... I just wanted to say something quickly. I got a friend, shouts out to Aris, and uh, he really wants to change up his life and he wants to do some shit and he wants to really, you know, put himself out there for some really lofty goals that he has, and uh, which is great and it's fucking awesome, right? We should all aspire to transcend ourselves and shit, you know? But uh, he's getting a little shook up right now because, um, I don't know, maybe I think he can't see it. I think his goal is beyond his vision right now, if that makes any sense. But uh, I think a lot of people suffer from that. Sometimes they have one conception of hope and it relies on vision. So it's like, you know, I want to take a bike ride today or I want to go play basketball, but it's raining. So I can't see it happening. So I'm not going to do it. But like <clears throat> a lot of the time our vision is blinded by situations, by relations, by other things going on. It's not something that we can rely on necessarily. So that version of hope kind of is like, maybe a weaker one, maybe a little like a, a lower level one. But there's another version of hope that I see people with all the time. Like my grandmother, for example, she biked in the rain all the time to get groceries because she had no other choice when my grandfather got sick and when they couldn't drive to the store, you know? So uh, some people don't have a choice and their hope doesn't rely on vision. It relies more on heart or uh, the necessity in that case, you know? Um, so I think another version of hope doesn't rely on vision and it's like you know I want to play basketball or I want to take a bike ride even though it's raining and I can't see it you know I can't see myself going out there and having a great day shooting because it's soaking wet but I'm gonna do it anyways because I know this is right or because I need to for my communities or my friends or my family or because I love it so much and I'm passionately driven and sometimes I think your passion your heart it can o override vision you don't need vision. Like I went to play basketball the other day and it was soaking fucking wet, freezing cold. It was minus two degrees and uh, worked on my jump shot. 
you know, and it went well. I shot 51, 52 in a row. Shouts out to Team Ballers, all the kids in the park. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, man, you know, and uh, so I just, I just wanted to drop that out there. I think there's two different visions of hope, uh, versions, visions, no, two different, two different versions of hope, and one is it rests heavily on vision, and the other one may rest elsewhere on like your heart, your passion, your community's needs, requirement, that sort of thing. So yeah. Back at it. Had some dinner. It was delicious. I had um, <clears throat> I don't know one of those Swanson frozen things because I went to the grocery store, and I also got. Um, like a deli counter salad, a superfood salad with kale and all types of crazy stuff. It's really good, good stuff. So uh, my video went online now and it's published on YouTube and stuff. Let's give you a quick little look. That's what it looks like, you know. Actually, I just wanted to say one quick thing. Uh, my friend, uh, Ari's, that... Um, you know, he's making some life changes right now. He's making some moves, right? And he, and he has some, some lofty goals he wants to accomplish. He was, um, he was kind of, I guess, maybe nervous or maybe a little apprehensive of some of these goals because they seem kind of big, but I think he can do them, right? And uh, the biggest thing is that he needs to think that he can do them if that's what he really wants. So uh, I just wanted to say quickly that, you know, and this is something I've learned again, you know, from watching different stuff. But um, you got to forgive yourself for uh, all that you can't do. And you got to really, you know, have a good look at yourself and acknowledge who you are. But I think out of that, that's an opportunity because um, we're not fish. Like, you know, we don't have a predetermined essence or destiny. Every day we have our choice and every day is a, a new day and a new life a full of new opportunities for us to go out and do stuff. So if there's anything you want in life, just um, believe in yourself and uh, work as hard as you want. And uh, you might just find yourself getting it, accomplishing success on your own terms. So that's what I hope for my dude. And uh, I'm going to be doing 25 videos in 25 days. And this is uh, one of them. So yeah. We actually have a real special treat here tonight. Diogenes wants to play. Okay, buddy. You gonna bring it back? You gonna bring it back to me? Come on, puppy, bring it back. Where are you gonna put it? Where you put it? Where is it? It's over there. Okay, I got it. Oh, okay, buddy, I got it. Okay, go. And don't worry about anyone else. Don't, no, no, you don't want to put it over there. You want to bring it back to daddy. Come on. Come on, you silly puppy. Bring me, bring me the, the bracelet. Bring it back. Come on. Yeah, bring it back. Come on. You can do it. Hey, oh, you're a good silly puppy. Okay, come on. So, yeah. I'm just trying to open my film editor. I use Filmora. Filmora Wondershare to make movies. Alright. And, uh, yeah, so I gotta create a new movie here uh, for today's vlog. So that's what we're gonna do. And, uh, it's pretty easy. pretty easy um, you know I can just like import the media right you know if I have some like videos and stuff like that right, photos. oh my god all my horrible pictures and videos you're gonna see them oh no better hide no I'm just kidding I don't have any so um, yeah a whole bunch of vlogs I never got done and stuff working out with Rob the Uchiha Chronicles with the kids, five days, five weeks of working out with them on the weekends. Uh, yeah, a whole bunch of stuff. But I'd pick a clip and then I can import it and then I can add music and I can edit it all up in here with the timeline. 
and uh, one of these is for like a movie you know the other one's for text and sound and all types of stuff and so it's not that bad it's not that bad man um, I started when I was real young making movies like 2001 I started and uh, you know with some of the stuff with the basketball scene so uh, yeah it kind of is easy now but I forget a lot of the stuff I used to know and using some of these newer things uh, some of these newer programs is a little harder um, like I started with Vegas video 1.0 you know what I mean so yeah but alright so uh, now I'm pretty much just going to uh, upload the footage and I'm also going to get a quick workout here with some bands and call it a night after having some oatmeal or some snacks before bed so um, alright this is the end of this vlog um, you know follow me if you want to follow yourselves and hopefully we get there together and uh, gonna be 24 more videos coming after these ones alright take care